If I directly sculpt on this model, I can't erase parts I don't like or control its intensity. But before sculpting details, if I go to the top right bar and tap on this icon and then add layers and then sculpt the details on this layer, I can now erase any parts of the sculpted area I don't like with this delete layer brush like this. Now look what happens when I disable the layer by tapping on the eye icon. The details have disappeared and it reappears when I enable the layer again. Cool, right? It's a non-destructive way of working which is very very useful and can save a lot of time. So what does this slider do? Right now it's at 100% which means the details are at full intensity. With this slider we can control how intense the details are. At around 50% it will be much less intense and at 0 it has no intensity at all. It works just like an opacity slider in drawing program like Procreate. What about these icons? The pencil icon is for renaming your layer. The one next to it is for deleting the layer. And this one is for duplicating the layer. And the last one is for merging the layer with the base or any layer below it. Is that all? Of course not. Uh, we are just getting started. So right now these details are raised like mountain. But what if I want them to be carved like a valley? I can totally do it with ease thanks to these layers. Tap on three dots and you will get five new channel sliders. With these you can control sculpted details color, roughness, metalness, and opacity individually. So if you go to the offset slider and set the value to negative, it will turn the raised detail into a carved detail. We can also make the detail more intense than it actually is by setting the value higher than 100% like this. Right next to the value, we have mask. If you tap on it, uh, it will mask the sculpted area and we can extract the masked area like this. The smoothness slider determines how smooth the edges will be and the edge loop is to control how many edge loops you want here like this. Once you are happy with the details, you can merge the layer with the base. What about the other sliders? Let's add a new one. Then select this brush, turn this on to sculpt and paint at the same time. We just looked at the offset slider. We know that it's for controlling sculpted details. Now look what happens when I play around with the color slider. Don't like the paint, only want the sculpted details, just set the color slider to zero. Only want the color and want to get rid of the sculpted details, set the offset to zero. It's too shiny, increase the roughness. You have changed your mind and don't want it to look like metal anymore, set the metalness to zero. These sliders unlock so much potential for sculpting and texturing in Nomad. So after sculpting some details, if you go back to the base and sculpt on it, the details on the layers will start to look kind of weird. Uh, if you don't want that to happen, check this keep top layers details box before sculpting. And now if you sculpt on the base layer, the details are still there and they are not affected. And if you check the UI expand list box, it just shows the slider and other options for every layer you currently have. One last thing you can do is if you add a new layer and then with the move brush change the model shape, 
you can use the slider of the layer for morphing. Okay, so that's all I know about layers. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you learned something from this tutorial. And as always, thank you for watching.